our signing day special here at Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jordan Giorgio, alongside Cam Rogers. Let's take a look at the latest top 25 recruiting classes of 2018. We'll take it now to number 25. We've got the Horn Frogs checking in, followed by North Carolina, Virginia Tech, Tennessee, and Nebraska. Cam. Yeah, and Jordan, you're seeing some changes here yeah. because we have literally just updated these 2018 recruiting class rankings here. So you see TCU dropping off a little bit. They were the number 21 class heading into National Signing Day today. Number three class in the Big 12 behind Oklahoma. TCU, though, still on track to have the highest rated class in program history. Most notable name there, of course, quarterback signing Justin Rogers, the highest rated recruit in the Frogs 2018 class. And so you got TCU there at 25. That's still pretty darn good for them. Maryland crept in there as well. Nebraska, you saw them earlier. Mm -hmm. They have jumped up a little bit. So Nebraska was hovering around 25. Sometimes they were outside the top 25. They got the four star tight end and Cameron Jurgens and Cameron Jones, of course, the four star safety as well. Scott Frost, what an effect he has had on these corn huskers here, Jordan, because one of our great statisticians out there and analyst, Tom Downey, told me that Nebraska, when Scott Frost first headed over as the head coach, they were ranked 94th in the recruiting rankings. Now they are at number 21 as we stand right now. So a fantastic job there for Nebraska. Yep, Scott Frost in Nebraska, the era is making moves, but let's get into our next group of five cam. Jim Harbaugh's Wolverines check in at number 20, followed by South Carolina, UCLA, Oregon, and Texas A&M coming in at number 16. Yeah, I'm looking at Michigan here, and you have to really say that it was somewhat of a down day for them. Of course, Otis Reese, that flip away from Michigan really hurt them and really bolstered the SEC teams out there. You saw a few flips today for Alabama and Georgia, respectively. So Michigan at number 20, not the greatest day ever. South Carolina at 19. They were actually 20th earlier today. Not too bad of a ranking for them either. Of course, we talked about Josh Van and that mm -hmm. fantastic interview we had with him. Really going to be a great wide receiver. UCLA at nine, or at 18 is an interesting one. Chip Kelly, though, did help boost their rankings a little bit throughout the process. Oregon at number 17 is uh, of note as well. Of course, we talked to an interview earlier today with uh, Shuck there for the Oregon Ducks. And Oregon, the Willie Taggart departure really hasn't hurt them too much. I think Mario Cristobal has done a solid job. They did lose out on Elijah Winston, the four-star defensive end and linebacker. He flipped to USC. And oh, by the way, USC having a pretty darn good recruiting class in their own right. But Oregon, 17, not too bad. And what can we say about Jimbo Fisher and Texas A&M? A big time leap for them, Jordan. Huge. Most definitely. All right, let's take it inside the top 15 now. Dan Mullins, Florida Gators check in at number 15, followed by LSU, Washington, Auburn, and the Willie Taggart era at Florida State. Yeah, Willie Taggart doing a fantastic job with Florida State. I do want to touch upon Florida a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Jacob Copeland announced that he will be going to the Gators, and this has gone viral. There's a video out there of his mom walking out on the press conference because she was wearing Alabama gear and Tennessee gear. She was expecting Copeland to pick one of those two schools. That didn't happen. <laughs> Mama ain't too happy, so there's going to have to be some solving to do at the dinner table tonight, yeah. Jordan. There's no, no doubt about it. Oh, most definitely. All right, let's take it inside the top 10 now, Cam. Notre Dame checks in at number 10, followed by the Alabama Crimson Tide. Oklahoma comes in at number 8. Miami is back when it comes to recruiting at number 7. And USC checks in at number 6. Yeah, so we did expect a big-time jump today from mm -hmm. USC, Jordan, of course, being a West Coast school. Usually you see that. You see that little movement towards the midway part of the day. And the Trojans... Look, they're inside the top 10 now, and entering today, their average player rating of 93.58 was only uh, below Ohio State and Georgia. And Georgia and Ohio State are on a record pace in terms of the recruits that they have been picked up. So really a fantastic job for USC. I want to touch upon Alabama as well. The big story coming in today was, was Alabama's reign as the number one recruiting class finally over. That seven-year stretch for the Crimson Tide. Finally canceled. We have a new number one that is locked in. We'll show you in a matter of minutes, but the big time storyline here, uh, Jordan, Alabama 
at number nine, not going to make the top five, it seems. Yeah, I'm excited to get into this top five and see the latest if there was any changes. So without further ado, let's take it to number five. We've got the Clemson Tigers, followed by James Franklin's Nittany Lions. Texas comes in at number three, Ohio State at number two, and the Georgia Bulldogs check in at number one. Fantastic recruiting classes all the way down the board. That's why we are looking at the top five here. It makes sense. Clemson, five five-star players, all of them early enrollees entering today. Of course, you have the pro-style quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, the nation's number one overall prospect. And the Tigers, they lost four players, notable players at least, Deion Kane, Ray Ray McLeod, Safety Van Smith, and offensive lineman Taylor Hearn to the NFL draft. And so had to fill in some holes there. So Clemson, a really good recruiting class. Penn State, what can you say about Jeff Franklin? I mentioned earlier today on the Cam Show how there was a fair share of turnover at Penn State. You want to talk about big-time names, Joe Moorhead. And, of course, Saquon Barkley going to the draft. Gusecki, the tight end mm -hmm. there, he's going to the draft as well. But still, great recruiting class there by Jeff Franklin in Happy Valley, his fifth edition there. Texas at number three. Texas, baby. They got the brand name. They got the volume. They got the quality. Doing a fantastic job there at number three. And, of course, it was the... Race to the finish for number one, Georgia and Ohio State. A couple of big time signings this morning, Jordan. It was like back and forth. Absolutely. Every it was second. counter punch after counter punch. I thought I was watching uh, like a political debate oh, or yeah. something like that. <laughs> uh, Tyson Campbell going to Georgia, of course, the number two ranked corner in the nation. You have a couple of other players that made some big time moves as well. Of course, Nicholas. Uh, Petit Frere, of mm -hmm. course, going to Ohio State. Big time get for the Buckeyes and Urban Meyer. Kirby Smart, what a day for him. He's going to sleep well tonight. Oh, yeah. It's been a busy, fun signing day. Definitely one in the books. And that was College Football Daily, our signing day special here at Chat Sports. Make sure to go ahead and follow Chat Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Chat Sports. And for Cam Rogers, I'm Jordan Giorgio. We'll see you next time.